This video demonstrates how to use external animation assets within a Doodly project. The animations are in a GIF format, created in an animation program, and then brought into Doodly. There are one or two things that you need to know about animating animated GIFs within Doodly. Before we get started on how to put it together in Doodly, here's another example of an animation that was done. Um, this one just using basic lines. So that just gives you a, a brief introduction into what's possible and it doesn't have to be anything complex. But as I said, the animations were created in another program and then imported into my assets within Doodly. So unfortunately, when bringing in the animations, they don't always show up as a normal animation would. Um, and they're often blank. So it's very hard to tell what that is. So how you name your animations becomes quite important. So the program that was used to create the animations is a program called OpenTunes. And OpenTunes is this program. This is one of the animations in the video clip. If we play that, you will see, let's go back to the beginning of that one. If we play, You'll see the movement where the yellow blocks move into the center. And that's pretty much the animation that was used. In the output for the animation, I can show you, I was able to set the size that I wanted for this particular content element. And each animation has its own size. So for each one, once again, have to go in and create the animation size that you're looking for. When we look at setting up the output here, we set it for GIF and we do say no looping. However, the GIFs will loop after a while within Doodly. So if you're going to create an animation in an external program, it's important that you have a look at the duration of that animation. And one of the tricks that I use to, to make sure that it will um, last is to take the very last frame of the animation, in this case, after the yellow lines had converged, and then to stretch it for quite a long period of time and try and calculate the number of frames per second and how long that's going to last within the googly animation. So there's a little bit of maths around to try and keep it um, coordinated. Otherwise, what will happen is that you'll see that your animation starts to run from the beginning again. So to get that right it does take a little bit of coordination. Um, so let's have a look and see um, inside Doodly now um, how we set that up. Importing them happens in the normal way. You would go to your assets, uh, select my library, hit the plus button, and then browse for the file and import the file. But as I said, once the file is imported, you can no longer see what it is. So it is quite important to, to know exactly what you've imported. And then what you'll also see is that you don't see any of those animation assets on the screen. So if I preview this, you'll see that I have a big blue block coming in, change the world, the balloons appear, the lines running across. Um, there's another animation running. There's the animation with the yellow blocks. But when we have a look at our screen, there's nothing to look at. So it's a little bit um, frustrating from that perspective, but um, you've just got to know your timings and the name of your items. And then it's uh, relatively simple, um, easy enough to put into your animation. Um, right, so this is one animation file that I prefer not to have. So I'm going to take that one out. So what do we do? Um, first thing to do is to uh, bring in the animation files that you want, check the timing. Um, a couple of things that you need to know on the animations is if you set the animation to come in um, at the delay of 0 seconds is fine and duration. If I made that duration zero, the animation is uh, it loses its animation. It's fully visible from the beginning. So in order to, to get it going, you need to give it at least 0.1 second. The animation will start, 
And while that animation runs, other content, normal content from Doodly will start to render. So in this case, the, the reason why we've put a delay on change the world is because if I didn't put that delay on, even though it takes a while for that big blue block to, to come in, what would happen is that the text would immediately start running after the 0.1 seconds. Because this timing that you see here is the timing that runs on the timeline. If the animation takes longer to render, that doesn't matter. To demonstrate that, if I made that zero delay and we left it as standard, when we preview, and let's try that again. Sometimes the animations will do that. Um, let's move that back to the, I'm not sure if that has any effect. If we preview the file, no, it's going to show you. So that's one of the things that also happens is that sometimes the animation displays as it is displaying here where it's fully rendered instead of coming in as an animation. And is that back to 2.5 seconds? We then have the line that runs from left to right. If we look at that in the preview, we'll see that the blue block comes in. We then have change the world. The line comes in. And then we have the balloons on the right hand side. If I was to take that line, go in, and let's change that rotation to 180 degrees. You'll see that it has now flipped it upside down. And when we preview, that line will now run with the animation from right to left. Similarly, if we take that line and we put it up at a 90 degree angle, um, uh, just go to the right icon. And if I was going to make that 90 degrees, and we were to preview, you'll see now that that line runs, in fact, down the page. So the, these are things that you can do with an animation, which is a little bit different to the normal Doodly asset. But I have to warn you that it's not an animation program, and it's not a true video editor. So there are going to be little things that happen that are very frustrating. Um, sometimes when trying to load uh, one of the GIFs, uploading it, it, it wouldn't upload. Um, I then had to go and change, I reduced the number of frames, and then eventually it would upload. Um, it's difficult to get your timing right because you can't see exactly what it is that you're timing. One of the things that I did find which was quite helpful is if I have this animation running in the background, which is a, a black bl block that opens, and I don't know where to position my text, if you move your mouse over your text, it's nice and clearly visible. So then using your arrow keys, you can change the position of the background animation. So that does help to see. In this case, the text was was white because the animation is black. However, there's no way to see that animation rendered anywhere on the timeline. Doodly takes the first frame of the animation as the as, as the rendering. And that's why you don't see what it looks like, because that unfortunately is in the last frame. But as you can see, um, lots of fun to do. And the, the finished product is definitely very different to, to what you have. And introducing small elements doesn't impede the performance too much. And you can just create something that's a little bit interesting. So to recap, if you are going to bring in animations, sometimes they won't import. The GIF will always repeat, so you need to add extra frames at the end so that you don't um, have your animation repeating itself. Uh, you won't see what the animation is on the screen, so it's a good idea to name your animation correctly so that you know what it is. Um, getting the timing, the timing runs by the timing set here on each individual item. And that means that you're probably going to end up using the delay function a little bit more on things like text and doodly images so that they come in at the right time after the animation is rendered. Example here, this animation runs, but it takes two seconds before I can add the text to the animation. So one last look at the animation. 
the block coming in, the text, the line, the balloons, and the other animated text objects. Of course, if there's something in your animation that will repeat over and over, then the timing is less important. Otherwise, do add some extra frames to the last frame in the animation. Great. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and good luck. Thank you.